Asthma is a pretty common but chronic lung problem. And, you know, kids get asthma, but adults get asthma too. They may report having cough, wheezing, shortness of breath. They may have chest tightness. There are certain things that set off asthma or triggers for asthma. You know, maybe they're allergic to weeds or grasses, or maybe they're allergic to a dog. Um, but also, there are things that can set people's asthma off in their work environment. And those are the things that we think about causing work-related asthma. I am a machinist by trade, and I have been ever since high school. I went to a vocational school. I was a propellant machinist, machining solid rocket fuel. While we were working, we were never fully aware of what we were working with and what it was capable of. I worked with metals making dyes for the wire industry. We would uh, grind everything using oil. By the end of the day, you, you would know that you were working with metals. <laughs> Oftentimes, what is a good clue is if they start out the day, they go to work, they feel really good. But after they've been there for a while or at the end of the day, that's when they notice, like, I'm really having a problem. You know, I'm coughing a lot. I have chest tightness. I'm wheezing. That can be a clue that this may be work-related asthma. Let's say you start out the work week on a Monday, you go to work, you feel good. But after you've worked for a few days in a row, you're really having problems and really struggling. Um, that is another clue. And then if you've got a couple days off, let's say it's a weekend or you go away on a vacation for an amount of time and all of a sudden the symptoms are better, they're not there, those are all clues that the asthma may be work-related. If you suspect that you may have work-related asthma, tell your medical provider, tell your doctor, tell your nurse practitioner that you suspect that your work may be contributing to your breathing problems. <laughs>